It's a Saturday showdown. Anyone fancy some hot laps around Interlagos? It's qualifying day here for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Careful with the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. Understood, stopping this lap. Pretty much empty. So it's all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top?
It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical Sector 2. We're getting a good run out of Jun. The two DRS zones will be key to any overtaking prospects today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Stroll, Poole, Hamilton, Russell, Ocon, Perez, Bottas, Albon, Ricardo, Sonoda, Sainz, Magnussen, Joe, Gasly, Sargent, and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. And alongside me in the commentary box, my old friend, Anthony Davidson. Well, they say that a change is as good as a rest. And whilst there's not much rest on show in the sprint format today, there's definitely a change to what we're usually seeing on the track. Look, we know it's not where you start, it's where you finish. But let's talk about the start now. What's there to help the drivers get away well? Big pressure at the start of the race, Crofty, for all of them up and down the grid, no matter where you are. But the drivers these days, they practice, practice and practice. They have rigs with them at the circuit where they can sit down with the, with the actual steering wheel from the real car. And they've got lights that they react to. The clutch paddle is uh, tailored around the driver's hands, around their fingers, so they can have optimum position before they start. So there's so much thought and effort that goes into getting these cars off the line. Okay, how was that pull away? You'll have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. might see some rain, ETA about 15 minutes. Okay, incredible parking there, nice one. That's gonna give you the edge if you can get a good launch as the race starts. Okay, so that's the rest of the grid forming up now. Be patient and watch for those lights.
That start was okay, now stay alert for threats around you. Okay mate, that was an illegal manoeuvre, you've got to cede that position or we'll receive a penalty. DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. understeer when trailing the car ahead. They're going to be giving off dirty air which is going to affect our tyres, so try to get past. so far. Expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. into first place. take each other out. Okay, gap 
Back to the car ahead, 3.4 seconds. Good job, mate. Really, really well done. That was a fantastic drive. Bring it home. Well, that's an end to the sprint action. Next up, It's a Saturday showdown. Anyone fancy some hot laps around Interlagos? It's qualifying day here for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix.
standing by. down to P16. Okay, we can take you this lap.
Welcome along then to where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the very final corner. And just one year later, Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only Drivers' Championship. It's time then for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with nine lefts and six rights for a total of 15 corners. The fastest lap today should have an average speed of around 135 miles per hour if, of course, the weather stays dry until the end of the Grand Prix. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position and Fernando Alonso completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Poole, Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Perez, Russell, Gasly, Hamilton, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Joe, Bottas, Stroll, Albon, Ricardo, Magnussen, Sonoda, and Logan Sargent. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And alongside me today, a man who I'm always pleased to see join me in the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season, and the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. map is good but we need to learn the gears so go into each one when you can we're going to need some work on the brakes so put some energy into them and warm the tires as well please Radar is clear, weather is looking good for now. Superb parking there, mate. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out. OK, so that's the rest of the grid forming up now. Be patient and watch for those lights.
DRS is now available. Understeer now that you're in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as soon as possible. Fastest lap of the race so far.
bet the grip levels are going to start falling away soon. We're approaching the pit window and you're going to be on mediums. Okay, mate, elbows out is great, but not that way. Come on, we can do better than that. Let's keep it clean, please. lap you can. Box this lap. Keep an eye on your distance to the speed limit line as you approach and make sure you don't speed. You only have to stop once now. One stop left. We had an issue removing the right rear wheel. I know it's not ideal, but let's try and put that behind us now and get back into this race. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound.
Fernando's coming in for his stop now. Oh, mate, you made that look easy. Nice work. That's why I love working with you. Smashed it. Okay, mate, we've got some clear track in front of us and let's make the best of it. So please make this next one a very fast lap.
Hope it looked like you made easy work of that target. Let's try and keep that going right through to the end of the race. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 3.3 seconds, 0.2 seconds. Time pressure data is currently reading zero. Assuming they still look inflated to you, we're gonna guess that it's just a bad sensor. Shouldn't be anything to worry about.
started the final lap of the race. Final lap. Fantastic drive, that's just fantastic, amazing, you deserve that race win, well done mate. A great race then, very much as we've come to expect, and a fantastic victory here at Interlagos. Well, are we looking at a champion in waiting today, Crofty, with that kind of performance? They were driving with the kind of lack of pressure that you quite often see when a driver knows, they just know within themselves that that championship is within their reach. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.